In this video, I'll guide you through a breathing sequence designed to improve sexual health and enhance enjoyment during sex. This practice is suitable for men and women of any age. You don't need any special equipment to do it and it will take about 15 minutes. Just ensure you are in comfortable clothes and have a yoga mat or just a regular carpet to use. My name is Daria Albert, I'm a breastwork teacher and I have my own breathing school where I teach people how to improve their life with breathing exercises. So I basically spend my entire career researching the impact of our breathing in humans' health and well-being. Just before we practice, I would like to explain a little bit of theory for a couple minutes so that you really understand what happens in your body. You can skip it and go directly to the practice if you would like. The way it works is that your pelvic area depends on the movements of your diaphragm, the main breathing muscle. So we use specific exercises that involve our diaphragm in such movements that increase the blood flow to your sexual organs. That's great for men to have better and longer erection and for women to have excitement faster and have better sensations. We also use other exercises to work on the state of your nervous system to reduce stress level and shift your body towards what is called a parasympathetic nervous response. This state of your nervous system is important for wanting sex. And the last thing we will do is that we play with the biochemistry of the body, so we trigger the release of important hormones like oxytocin and endorphins. The entire routine, as I already mentioned, will take about 15 minutes, so let's get started. We will start from a sitting down position and for that I would ask you to also have a towel or a pillow that you can sit on because quite often when we are sitting down in the cross leg position, people will have their lower back arched and we don't want it to happen for the breathing practices. So in order to solve it, we'll just put something under our butt and sit down on the pillow or towel. That will help to move your hips forward and make your spine straighter. Also, if for you, for whatever reason, you can't sit in this cross-like position, just sit down on the chair and that's fine. And prepare the yoga mat where you can lie down after when we will move to the floor to do some exercises on the floor. So, get seated down, close your eyes, rest your hands on your knees, make sure that your spine is as straight as possible, relax your shoulders, your shoulder blades going a little bit towards each other to open your chest a bit more. Bring your chin a little bit to the back, like you're creating a double chin. Make your neck as relaxed as possible. The top of your head is trying to reach the ceiling, so your neck is lengthening. Bring your attention to your breathing. Feel how the air goes inside of your body, feeling in your body and how it leaves your body by the same direction. Don't change anything in your breathing yet, just observe it. Feel how your body is right now. Observe all the sensations inside of your body. It could be anything, tingling, electricity heat or cold. It could be also some discomfortable feelings of tension or even pain. Don't give it any color, just observe it and with next exhale try to relax this tension a little bit more and a little bit more. During the whole practice, try to stay with the closed eyes for as long as possible and feel everything that is going on inside of your body.
and right now they will start to breathe rapidly through our nose. We will breathe out through the nose like you're trying to push forcefully the air out, like you're blowing your nose and with the exhales your belly is pumping inside and a little bit up. On the inhales your belly is relaxing. The breathing is rhythmical. It would look like that. With exhales the belly is pumping inside. On the inhales the belly is relaxing and you're breathing through your nose. Try to focus mainly on the forceful exhales. And we already begin. Find your comfortable rhythm when I'm talking your breathing. It could be a little bit faster or a little bit slower than I'm doing it. And many of you might start to feel a little bit dizzy, lightheaded. Don't be afraid of that. It's totally normal with this breathing technique. Also, if you're on the first two or three days of your cycle, just don't do this practice. It's for women, of course. So continue to breathe. Try to relax your facial muscles, but often when people breathe this way, they start to squeeze their facial muscles. Make sure that with the exhales your belly is pumping inside and on the inhales relaxing, not vice versa. If you feel that this technique makes you lightheaded and you are a little bit of afraid of these sensations, just slow down your breathing or even rest a little bit and finish this breathing exercise a bit earlier than we will do. We have a few more seconds, just 15 more seconds, so if you can speed up while breathing this way, And now attention, after next exhale, inhale deeply through your nose, exhale and hold your breath after exhaling. Hold your breath and fully relax. Tuck your chin in a little bit. You might feel a little bit like flying in the sky. It's totally normal. It's a normal, normal reaction of your body when you switch from a fast type of breathing technique to a breath hold. And now do one more deep inhale. And exhale to come back to your usual breathing. Observe all the differences that happened in your body. And now let's get lying down to our back. If you feel tension in your neck so that you can, then you can put something behind your head, just a little pillow. Otherwise, just stay without anything and bring your feet on about 20 centimeters away from your hips a few inches away. Find this comfortable position, your arms are on the side of your body. And now we will inhale in this position, try to inhale into your belly, your belly is expanding on the inhales. And with exhales, bring your hips up and squeeze your sexual organs, squeeze your pelvic floor muscles. Inhale, drop your hips down, exhale, Bring your hips up and try to squeeze your pelvic floor muscles. Breathe through your nose. If there is no extra 
uh, recommendation to breathe through your mouth, we are always breathing through the nose when doing a breath work. Inhale, try to direct it to your belly, belly is expanding and on the exhales try slowly squeeze your sexual organs. And now after next exhale, keep your hips up. Stay in this position, breathe normally for now. Try to ground your feet to the floor that it will help you to hold this position. And right now start the same type of breathing that we did in the first exercise. So you are strongly exhaling through your nose and with exhales your navel point is going inside and a little bit up. On the inhales, belly relaxing. Don't do this practice or any other breastwork practice if you just eat. We always want to wait for about an hour or two after a meal. Relax your shoulders. I know it might already kind of feel like you have a lot of heat in your hips. That's exactly the feeling that we want to have. That's the good sign that the blood is going towards your pelvic floor. So continue to breathe this way. A little bit more. You're doing fantastic. Hold it, hold it. Hold your hips in the same position as they are right now and after next exhale, inhale deeply. Hold your breath on the inhale and squeeze your pelvic floor muscles, squeeze your sexual organs, bring it inside as much as you can or just imagine how you're doing it if you can't feel those muscles yet. Hold, hold, relax your shoulders, make sure you don't have tension there. Relax your pelvic floor muscles, slowly exhale and bring your hips down. Great. And right now, directly, we will start gently hit our hips on the ground. Just like that, really gently and you can a little bit turn to the right, to the left. Try to hit your entire lower back area and your hips, your coccyx. Breathe any way it feels comfortable for you. Try to breathe through your nose, it's always better. And just focus on these gentle hits. If you feel like you can hit your hips a little bit stronger, just go ahead. But it should be comfortable. You shouldn't experience any intense feelings. I just drank a glass of water, so I feel how the water is jumping in my belly. I don't know if you can hear it. I can. <laughs> continue, continue a little bit more. This exercise is really comfortable, especially after a while. Just continue doing it. During this exercise, we also stimulate our adrenalines. And uh, it makes us feel a little bit more energized, more awake. <laughs> great, great, a little bit more. You're doing fantastic. And now slowly 
lift up these hips and just straighten your legs. Lie down on your back. Again, if you need to have something behind your head, just put on pillow to relax your neck if you have any tension. Your arms are on the side of your body. Palms are facing up. Close your eyes. Breathe normally through your nose. Just relax for a few moments before we will continue. Observe how more awake your hips feel right now. And slowly come back and now we will change our position to the child position. It's when we bring our hips to our heels. Here I would ask you to bring your legs together and lie down this way, putting your head on your hands. And in this position right now, we again will start to do breath of fire, this type of breathing that we've done in the first exercise. So start to strongly exhale through your nose, like you're blowing your nose. Your navel point is going inward on the exhales and on the inhales, your belly is relaxing. Focus on your exhales. Continue, continue, you're doing fantastic. After next exhale, inhale deeply through your nose. Hold your breath after inhalation and squeeze your pelvic floor muscles, squeeze your sexual organs. Hold your breath, relax your shoulders. Relax your pelvic floor muscles and slowly exhale. Come back to your usual breathing and right now staying in the same position try to focus on inhaling to your belly. Your belly is expanding on the inhales and exhaling the way that your belly is relaxing and going inwards. Breathe through your nose and try to extend your inhalation and exhalation. Breathe slower. You can add mental counting and do five counts on inhale and five or even ten counts on exhales if you prefer. and fully relax as much as you can.
do one more cycle and when you will finish come back to your usual breathing and start to slowly unroll from this position vertebra by vertebra your head going up in the last moment bring it really slowly up and we are done with this really simple fast but extremely effective sequence for improving your sexual health train your breathing guys see you